In this video, we will look at basic number formats in Excel. Number formatting is used to change the appearance of a number or value in a cell. Formatting numbers does not change the actual number that you enter, just the way it appears in the spreadsheet. Number formats you will use most often are what you see here in the number group. Accounting, percent, comma. Let's switch to a worksheet without number formatting. Notice the default format for cells containing a value is the general style. This style has no specific format and displays values as plain numbers, no dollar signs, commas, etc. Just a plain number. So I will apply a formatting to each of these numbers. The accounting style, percent, and comma. So notice that the accounting puts in the dollar sign, a comma in the thousands place, and gives us two decimal places. The comma style does the same but without the dollar sign, then the percent style simply changes our decimal to a percentage. But what about this currency style that I have down here? Well, I can apply additional number formatting by clicking the drop down arrow and choosing currency. What exactly did I just do here? Let's take a closer look at the difference between the accounting and the currency styles. So notice that the accounting style places the dollar sign to the left of the cell and that the currency style places the dollar sign right next to the numbers aligned to the right of the cell. So in Excel, Numbers are always aligned to the right of a cell, and text is always aligned to the left of a cell. So basically, Excel is looking at this dollar sign as text in the accounting style, but with the currency style, it's viewing it as a number. The only difference is in appearance, and really how you want your spreadsheet to look. But there is also a difference in how the two styles display zeros and negative numbers. So let me apply the accounting format to the zero and negative number here. And I'm going to apply the currency format to the zero and negative number. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and again go to my currency format. Notice the difference. With the accounting style, for the zero, I get a dash, and my negative number is shown in parentheses, whereas the currency format, the zero is actually showing a zero, and the negative number has a negative sign. With the currency format, I can actually display negative numbers with a minus sign in red with parentheses, or in red in parentheses. So let's take a look at changing the appearance. I'm going to click the drop down arrow, but this time I'm going to go to the bottom of my menu selection and choose more number formats. Notice in my category, currency, look at my options for how I want to display a negative number. Whereas, if I choose the accounting category, I do not have those same options. So to conclude, the number formats you're going to find yourself using most often are the accounting, currency, percent, and comma formats. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to reading your comments that you leave below.